okay good day guys good day to you all welcome back to the formula sports channel thanks for being here a gentle reminder as always to please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it is indeed a free way to support the channel and as always the support is much appreciated so guys i just want to talk a little bit about you know um this upcoming game that we have later on um i can't give you guys the in-depth analysis that i would have done on the serbian team right i can't do that because the, the plain and simple truth is that i have not seen this japan under 24 team play right i saw the serbians play so i could analyze you know how they play i i can't analyze this japan under 24 team i've seen japan under 24 teams of the past but not this current bunch even though some of these players that are in the japan team the the japan u24 team i've seen them play individually but i've not seen them play as a collective so i really don't know much about the team and i mean trying to find the starting lineup for the the, the, the ghana game was was hard in and of itself or any games for this um u24 team i even went on the japan website to try and get the, the the squad the u24 squad so you know finding finding the squad and the, the respective starting lineups for me anyways was a bit of a challenge much less to find games to watch so but i just want to to, to say something on this particular game right the, the rhetoric seems to be that we should win this game and we should win it easily right that seems to be the rhetoric that you know i mean there's no way the reggae boys should get anything other than a comprehensive victory against the u24 team right it, it's right from what i have heard is almost as if people think that you know we should be beating this team and you know we should do it with relative ease now guys i vehemently disagree with that I mean, if you look on your screen right now and you see some of the names that would have taken the field for this U24 team, right? There are big players playing in big leagues. Big players playing in big leagues, right? The two centre-backs that, I mean, this is the, this is the team that, that played against Ghana, the U24 team that played against the youth Ghana team, right? And the two centre-backs are starters in top five leagues in Europe. Right, the two centre backs, Tommy Yasu and obviously you guys know Yoshida, are starters for two, um, for um top five for clubs in um top five leagues in Europe, right? Tommy Yasu is a starter for Bologna, or Bologna, I think is how they pronounce it in Italy in the Serie A, and Yoshida is a starter for Sampdoria. Right, the right back, Hiroki. Sakai is a starter for Marseille in France. So literally, three of this back four, three players of this back four are starters for teams in top five leagues in Europe. Right? Pex Walla, the, pl the other player, the, the left fullback, plays for Pex Walla. Right? In the Dutch Eredivisie and he's a starter for them. He is a starter for them. You know, the, the left fullback, Yuta Nakayama. Right, he's a starter for Pexola. Right, Endo, if you guys watch the Bundesliga, you're familiar with this name. He is a starter for Stuttgart. Doan, Ritsu Doan. Many of you might probably know that name if you watch the Bundesliga as well. Right, he's a PSV Eindhoven Loni at armenia bielefeld right and in my opinion from the times that i saw bielefeld play this season he was the best player on the pitch all the time i saw that team play right we're talking about another player who is a starter for a team in a top five league in europe and in doan's case he's not even a starter from what i've seen of him he's the star of the team Right, he even scored a good goal against Bayern Munich earlier on in the season. So he's no joke. And obviously you guys know about Kubo. 
right? Kubo who, who, who plays, who is a Real Madrid loanee at Gatafe in the Spanish La Liga. Right, so these players are no joke, that's what. One, two, three, four, five, six players right there. Six players right there. Right? Feature heavily in their respective teams in top five leagues in Europe, guys. These players feature heavily. That's one, two, three, four, five, six players out of the U24 Japan team. Right, R R R. Well, yeah, I be, I mean, all of them feature heavily for their respective clubs, heavily for their respective clubs. Right. So you know, people think that this team is a walkover. You know, I mean, how many players in our team down there are starters, much less signed to a top five um to a team in a top five league in Europe? Right, not one. Not one so people think that this is a pushover for the reggae boys. We need to calm down. We need to calm down. Right? We, look, I'm not saying we're going to lose. I'm not saying, you know, this team is going to walk over us. Of course, I expect us to put up a good showing. Right? But the moral of the story is this team is no joke. Some of the benches that you see in this team on the screen. Right? Ko, Ito, what? Itakaro, Itokura. Ko Itakura. Yeah. yeah the, you know, some of these names is difficult to pronounce, right? He is a starting centre back for Granigan in the Dutch Eredivisie. He's a Manchester City Loney. Loney, rather. Right? And he's a starter for Granigan. Right? In the Dutch Eredivisie. He's an attacking midfielder. Right? Ryotaro. Meshino. Right, he is a Manchester City Loney, attacking midfielder Loney at Rio Ive. Right, in the in the in the Portuguese league, in the Portuguese first division, and he gets regular game time. He's not a starter for them, but he gets regular game time. Right, he gets regular game time, and the remaining four players in this starting lineup are starters for their respective clubs in the J-League, right? And, and only somebody who doesn't know anything about football, you know, thinks that the J-League is a joke. The J-League is a good league. It's a credible league, right? A, a very credible league, right? It's no joke. I mean, I've not seen a lot of the J-League, but from what I have seen of it, I mean, you can tell with the naked eye, right? The pace of the play, the technicality of the players, you can tell, just by looking at the games that the, these teams these teams in the J-League are no joke, right? Added to the, the exports as well when you add that to the fact that the exports from the J-League, you know, go to European leagues and European teams and do well, right? And, and players go from Europe to the J-League to play as well. So the J-League is, is no joke, right? So, I mean, people need to calm down. I mean, here's the thing, guys. In my opinion, you know, don't be alarmed if we don't get a victory in this game, right? People think it's a bunch of kids are playing, right? This is a decent team. It is a decent, decent, decent team. The Japan U24 team, right? Even the benchers have, have, have good pedigree as starters for clubs in, in Europe, right? Another player, Yukinari. Suga, Sugawara, you know, he gets regular game time for AZ Altmar. He's 20 years old and he gets regular game time for AZ Altmar in the Dutch Eredivisie. Right? So, you know, don't be alarmed if we don't get a victory in this game. I mean, obviously we want to win, but this is no joke team. Right? Six of their, six of the starters on screen in their game against. I couldn't find it the game against um japan in terms of the starters or the the, the, the starting list i couldn't find and from what i understand some of the some of the top players in the in the u24 team didn't play that game but in the ghana game right where they gave ghana a walloping right 
six of the of the eleven starters get regular game time or basically starters for their respective clubs and get regular game time for their respective clubs in top five leagues in europe right so we have to be very careful we have to be very careful we have to be very very careful this is no joke team so that's all i want to say on this particular on this particular game so hopefully the boys can go out there you know and and do well you know and, and come away with a with a result you know hopefully because this is this is no joke team man so you know we're, we're not gonna run over these guys man again you know takihiro tomiyasu starter for balagna maya yoshida starter for sampdoria right hiroki sakai starter for marseille endo starter for stuttgart i mean you name it doan you know starter for stuttgart you guys know about kubo's quality he is a he is a, a real madrid loan if memory serves me right real madrid um bought him as a 16 year old and and i'm um, no lie real madrid put him in the in the the first team as a 16 year old did they did they buy him or did he come out of the academy i know he was in barcelona's academy at one time that i won't say conclusively off the top of my head right now but he i know that he was brought into the first team as a, a 16 year old even though he didn't play but still to be brought into real madrid's starting team sorry i'm talking foolishness first team not starting team first team to be brought into real madrid's first team as a 16 year old you are no joke man you are no joke we see his quality in la liga all the time so you know that's my two cents guys hopefully the boys can get a result in this one stay safe take care and until next time